This week's video is going to be on Warlords. It's an arcade game by Atari. It came out in 1980. I imagine a lot of you are familiar with the uh, 2600 port. Played a lot of that when I was a kid. Loved the game. And uh, basically this is the same premise. You have the four castles in each corner. And uh, the goal is to last longer than anyone else. So I have the side free on this, so I'll do a quick side at the look at the side art. You got the uh, castle at the top, and it's lobbing fireballs down to the knight on the horseback there. And he's protecting himself with that shield, so the basic of premise of the game is there. Alright, so this is the upright version. I uh, used a larger 23 inch black and white. The other version was a cocktail. And uh, that used a color 14 inch monitor. Uh, you can see the monitor down at the bottom and there's color overlays over each castle to give its, it, each castle its own color. You have the purple and the blue at the bottom and the uh, green and the red at the top. And that monitor image is bounced off a one way mirror like some of the other games I've shown you. And uh, it's done that way so you can see the, the backdrop. There's a 3D backdrop of castle walls and that middle ground there. And it's done that way so it looks like the uh, your characters are actually sitting on top of the castle. And it's kind of a cool effect. A lot of people seem to be drawn to this game because of it. And it's a fun game too. <laughs> the control panel is uh, fairly simple. You have two people can play at the same time at this game so you have two spinners uh, left and right movement and you have the start button and that's actually also allows you to grab the fireball when you're in the game and I'll show you that when I get to that point point. and let's see I'll show you the Warlord's Creed too and I fear it may sound like I'm reciting poetry to you but I'll say it anyway let's see there be warlords of brawn and might Defending their crown of gold. Beware the greed of the black knight, a power hungry foe. The dragons spit their fireballs, warriors hold up your shields. Tis time to protect your castle walls until the black knight yields. So, it's kind of a neat little saying. Add something to the game. And, uh, well, I guess really that's about it. I'll just get into a game and show you that. So I'm going to be the, uh, the blue castle, the one in the lower right hand corner. And the, the dragon's going to spit the fireball at me because it just, he spits it to whoever hits the start button first. I can either deflect it like that or I can grab it and then shoot, let it go where I want. Now the problem with grabbing it is, the longer you hold it, the more it starts to destroy your own castle. So you want to let go of it relatively quickly. And it seems if you hold it too long, the, the, fire, the second fireball comes out even faster. So The way I usually play is to, to open up the castles of the the ones alongside of me, the red one there and then the purple the purple one down at the bottom in this case. And then go after the green. So we'll see how all that how all that tactic works for me here. Not a lot to talk about in this one, you just try not to get your castle destroyed. I'll try to speed it up a bit. If I kill the other castle, more fireballs will come out. Makes it a little more hectic, a little faster. It's just me and the green one. The epic battle. Let's see who wins. Ah, should have been that better. Got him. Now I go to level two, where they're a little faster, a little harder to lure away from their their sides. But basically, it's the same game over and over. So I guess that's good enough. I can end the the game here or end the movie here. So 
Hope you enjoy uh, Warlords. It is a fun game, and even on even on the Atari 2600. But uh, it's nice to have it on the nice to have played in the arcade too.